Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to announce that Linux is getting faster than Windows. And let me show you this one because I've just done a few tests. This is Windows. Uh, it says Windows 10 here, but I've done the same test. Actually, most tests I've done on Windows 11, just to be sure. I've got exactly the same score in this specific test. So this is my, my PC, uh, AMD CPU, AMD GPU. And at these settings, I've got 303 FPS on Windows, but on Linux, I've got 340. That's more than 10%. I'm really, guys, I'm really happy to see that. So let me give you some context, uh, because quite a lot of people were doing such tests. And this guy in particular done some really good tests. And you can see the trend, you know, from the last few months. I think he done eight months ago, five months ago, and one month ago, he done the test. And the trend is very promising because it was getting really close, like Linux was getting really close. And in some cases, like 1% loss. And for some people, it's more important. The loss are more important than the, the average because that's the drops that, you know, that's important. So on AMD side, at least, was getting really close. Not quite, but close. On NVIDIA, it's a bit worse. However, the good news is apparently NVIDIA find out what is the problem and they're working on a solution. Direct X12 was the problem and hopefully they will fix it. And I'm sure they will fix it. You know, that's Nvidia we are talking about. And this guy here, very competitive Counter-Strike ga gamer. Uh, let me show you this one because that's what make me, made me interested in the subject. Uh, let me play this clip. Salut everyone. I'm gonna go straight to the point in this video because I'm so hyped that I want you to be as hype as I am right now. And the news is simple. Counter-Strike 2 runs better on Linux than on Windows. So I'm going to repeat it again, just, just for the... Guys, this is very big deal because for a long time, Linux was not considered for competitive gaming at all. Uh, many games have like kernel level anti-cheat, which doesn't work on Linux, unfortunately, until now. But even the performance, if something was working, the performance was worse. So yeah, it was not acceptable. However, now it's becoming so much faster that even games, especially in competitive settings with low resolution, when you're more CPU bound, you're getting crazy results. So let me show you what he's getting. And he's showing, like he was testing the results from somebody else. So this is not just his result. He's seen this result somewhere else and tested himself. Now, this is very low resolution because that's how this, you know, very competitive gamers play, like stu stupid low resolution to get possibly high FPS and not this average FPS, because this don't matter. Uh, no monitor can reach such crazy FPS, but they, what they focus on are the lows. That what matters. This, this number see that this is 100 FPS difference between Linux and Windows. That's massive. That's huge. That's very, very important for competitive gamers. However, not everybody cares about this specific game at this specific resolution. So I wanted to do tests myself. And apparently, uh, on a side note, Gamers Nexus, very big channel, benchmarking channel, will add Linux in their testing. So they will be showing at some point, I don't know when, hopefully soon, but they will be showing Linux as well in their benchmarks. And there's another website called Foronix, which is focusing on Linux benchmark performance, not gaming. They show gaming as well once in a while, but mostly uh, all benchmarks. And they show that the performance difference is becoming really big in some cases, not all cases, but some cases. Linux can be even like twice faster than Windows. And like recently, something is happening because the speed of development some new some optimizations coming out like so fast like every week i see something some new optimization here or there you, you, you know like it's pretty amazing I, I don't know what is happening so let me give you some context what i what i uh wanted to do because i'm not a benchmarker and when i try to do the benchmark i find out wow this is really difficult so i wanted to make it as easy as possible as full proof as possible just make it impossible to fail maybe not make it perfect i didn't aim for perfection but i wanted to avoid any errors any mistakes i just wanted to run a benchmark and read the numbers at the end i've got this one black with wukong benchmarking tool run the benchmark I got the test at, uh, result at the end tomb raider uh, custom engine this is unreal engine 5 which is very popular so even better very popular engine 
less popular engine and Returnal is on Unreal Engine 4 still. There are brand new games still done in Unreal Engine 4, which can be good sometimes because it's a little bit lighter, but not always. You can make very heavy games on Unreal Engine 4 as well. Anyway, I've used these three games. Why these three games? Because these are the only three games with built-in benchmarks. So I run the game and I'll just let me show you all the games I run in properties was on very default setting with compatibility off, like nothing on, just standard, the same on Windows, the same on Linux, just launch, set up, and go. And let me show you the results, guys. Tomb Raider I've showed before. Uh, Windows, actually I made a mistake because it's supposed to be 303 FPS, so I should make it better. And this is 340. Guys, this is big difference. This is more than 10%. 1080p. What about higher resolution? The difference is a bit small, but still there. Still there. And I've tested Gen 2, which is a more difficult uh, distribution. Not gaming. It's not meant for gaming. But you can do gaming. KDE, KDE Linux. Uh, very brand new. Not gaming. Uh, Mint. Super popular distribution. But not for gaming. But it's still, even Mint, no problem. It's not that big of a difference. But yeah, Kashi OS in this case is a little bit faster. Bazite gaming uh, distribution, still a bit faster than, than most. Now let's find 4K. Still better, guys. Even 4K. Even when you GPU band, you still, well, at least on my system, on my PC, I still get better results. On, on Linux. And by the way, th this is, uh, I made a mistake, this is 4K, uh, actually su supposed to be 4K here. So this is results for 4K, not 1440p. This is 1440p, this is 4K. What about Returnal? Unreal Engine 4, and one of my favorite games. So the results are slightly better on Linux, not much, but slightly better at 1080p. 1440p, close to the same, but still better on Linux and 4k almost identical only one yeah pretty much identical even though the graphs looks it's like that it's just one fps difference two fps difference and black with black myth wukong unreal engine 5 1080p yeah there's quite big difference even unreal engine 5 this is big deal guys i'm really happy to see that that's not you know nothing and it's not even like, oh, this is just a little bit slower. Who cares? No, it's faster. It's faster. So, yeah, guys, I wanted to show you that. Actually, you know, because I'm really happy. And it's not over. I know I can optimize further. This is like super basic test. Like, for example, let me show you. Uh, I've got this application, Proton, no, Proton Plus. I find out online. And look at this. I've got this. Protons. Protons is used by Steam and by a few other launchers. Uh, actually, I will show you what, what these launchers do as well. And they are like alternative tool to translate to Windows. And people say that, especially this one, GE, can be faster in gaming than the regular Steam. And Casios has their own. You can download and add to Steam to other launchers. EM Proton that adds FSR4. Uh, and there are more as well so you can play with that you can optimize the kernel because it is possible on Linux you can do other optimization you can optimize even the drivers because they are open source you can download custom drivers for GPU and maybe extract a little bit extra FPS there a little bit extra FPS there and yeah and let me show you this one uh, so this is Steam and Heroic Launchers launch games from epic store uh from gog from prime gaming as well you can add all this game yes you have access i think you can uh, you, you can have access to pretty much almost all games especially especially single player ones uh not every multiplayer games unfortunately but yeah guys it's getting really promising and these results are not perfect uh, this is not the end you can optimize this further and make this number even a little bit further, you know, a little bit higher, a little bit more ahead of Windows.
yeah, that makes me really happy. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Um, you can test this yourself. I didn't switch. I don't like the switching word. I didn't switch. I added Linux to Windows. I have both. I have Windows and I have Linux. You just buy a, a cheap SSD for 10, 20 pounds, 20 dollars, put to your PC, especially when you've got gaming desktop PC. It's so easy, just 20 dollars and you've got both. And then you optimize your experience, but choosing the best system for that specific games and tune it and go maximum. If Windows works better for that specific game, cool, run Windows. But if Linux run that specific games better, cool just run run linux for that specific games if you into tweaking optimizing you want to extract every last bit of fps the solution is to having both that's that's the way not switching dual boot have both the the discs are so cheap now so i've got seven discs in my pcs now and yeah i think that's that's the best that's the optimal yeah and it really makes me happy and this ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and See you in the next one.